With this movie, we begin a new section on drawing in Anime Studio and working with the drawing tools. You can only really have animations that are as good as the content you lay down on the page in Anime. Something else I want to bring up is that I'm assuming if you have the Pro product, you probably or more than likely have some other drawing tools available to use, like Corel Draw or Adobe Illustrator. And we'll look at ways of kind of integrating some of those capabilities along with Anime Studio so you can really maximize the animation capacities that come to you through this wonderful package. So let's get started now and take a look at some of the tools we have to work with in Anime Studio. So here we are with a default new scene in Anime Studio. Before we get a little bit further along, I do want to point out one thing. You noticed we've got our box here. I want to call your attention to something that you'll need to check every time you actually create a new scene so that you know what you're creating is appropriate to what you will finally be doing with it in the backside or when you're completed in rendering it, and that is the project settings. Under the file pull-down menu, you can go to project settings and select that. Those pop up and give you some real basics to work with. We've got the size of the movies, and it comes with some presets that you may or may not want to use for NTSC television, PAL format television, or web. And then you can adjust the size of the final image or image area that you'll be rendering out, and the frame rate, or how many pictures you're drawn per second to make up a smooth animation. You can go ahead and uh, change some of your focal distances, things like that. We will deal with this in more detail as we get into some projects per se, but wanted to call your attention to it as you're working with it now. Well, Anime has some drawing tools. Now, not as many as packages like Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw, and I talked about that in our interface tour, where we really have over here in the tools palette, we really only have those three sections, tools to make stuff, tools to change stuff, and tools to link stuff together. The drawing tools in Anime, despite their limited selection, are very robust and actually combine several capabilities into a single tool. Those other drawing packages split up into multiple tools or at least have different representations of how they show on the page. The one thing Anime does not have is the ability to create very geometrically perfect types of shapes that are complex. Let me show you what I mean. What we'll do here because of that is explore now one of the features of Anime Studio and that's the ability to import other file types and formats into its projects for you to work with. You find that under the file pull down menu. We'll select here, you come down to import and you are presented with a whole host of things that you can import. Now Anime Studio Pro ships with a bunch of pre-made content that you can go ahead and drop in and start working with. That's everything over here all the way down to this little dividing line right here. From user samples to 3D animals, you have many things you can work with right out of the box with this program. However, down below this dividing line, we've got some other things that I want to call your attention to. We can obviously import some of these things here that you would expect, Anime Studio projects, image files that we'll get into, movies, so you can actually run a movie in the background. What I'll take a look at here is an Adobe Illustrator file. If you don't have Adobe Illustrator or a program that exports to that format, you can go ahead and save it as an EPS file and then bring it in that way. This too is where you can bring in tracing images, soundtracks when we start working with audio, and 3D objects from other programs like Poser or Daz Studio or Carrera. Let's go ahead and come back up to Adobe Illustrator file. I'll select that. And if you have access to the exercise files that come with this, and the little special VTC anime work files, you can go to the section four on drawing tools and select Illustrator import. I'll do that now, and click on it. These are the kind of files that are difficult to create in anime because they're so precise and so perfect. Anime Studio is wonderful for creating very natural, hand-drawn, or organic types of shapes. But when you get into some of these more complex shapes, it's a little tougher to get this level of sophistication. This is another perfect example as well to show you one of the display features that I've talked about in our preceding movies. Down in the lower right-hand corner of the work area is a pull-down menu for display quality. This is a perfect example of when you want to go ahead and select something like anti-aliasing down at the bottom. Aliasing is the little jaggies, the stair steps that occur on lines when they're drawn in a basic fashion in a vector format. So when you enable anti-aliasing, it smooths those lines out. 
I'll go ahead and engage that. Suddenly it looks like we have lines to work with. I'll click on my workspace to make that box go away. Now these again are the types of lines that mm, you can do with this program, but it's a little bit tougher. Once they are brought into Anime, you can continue to change them and work with them using the selection tools that we've already learned about in the interface area. And you can go ahead and then switch to the translation tool here for something like T and move these around and stylize it if we want to have some different rays. And remember the direct translation tool can select individual points or nodes, but can't select more than one. That's when you'll need to use the selection tool keyboard shortcut G. So to answer the question, when would I import paths with something else versus drawing my own paths? This is a case where you do that. Geometrically perfect shapes that are more difficult to create in Anime Studio. In our next movie, we'll take a look now at actually drawing things in Anime, and we'll kick that off with primitive shapes.